I am Paul Tolder from PaulTolder.com and I'm going to show you tonight that PG Boats and Knights of the Seas works for Mac. Well, first of all, some websites are kind of cool stuff. Lots of games, does I mean, games, six games, but especially Windows games. Am um, I going to focus at the moment on PG Boats and Knights of the Seas for the Mac? You can find it or on the game board lists or on the, the wrapper up on the, on the link up here. Come on the game page. If you don't own the game yet, you can get it from Games Geek. Click on the cover up here, and you can buy it up here. Now I have yet I uh, use that version, and the version works. Um, well, you can download it from the page here. Click on the download button here, and then uh, you download the DMG file. It's this file. Agree. I'll move the icon to the wrapper. You still need to do uh, a couple of things. Um, you need a no CD patch, and um, you need to wind trick um, Visual Script uh, 2005. Well, somehow I couldn't um, uh, install it in it um, uh, because every time when I uh, uh, installed the game and then uninstall the game. Well, well, VC uh, Visual Script 2005 deleted also. So you have to do it installing manually. And I will show you how, step by step. Just, um, just a moment. Well, the icon is here. Well, um, if you get the, the game's git version, uh, uh, download the file from your uh, game page. Uh, on uh, on here, so if you have the uh, games gate version, you can go to your uh, to your uh, all your games, and there you can download the file, the download file of the PT boats. Okay, well, double click it and click on install Windows software. And you go to your um, downloads, and there you have the PT boats Knights of the Seas. Well, you have to put your account stuff. Well, I already downloaded the game, so for me, the, so it starts automatically. But uh, if you do it yourself, uh, use the game's gate version, then um, the installation will start, um, uh, the download will start first, and after download, this installation will appear. Click next, I accept next, next, click yes, click next, next, install. Well, this will take a while, so I'll be right back. Well, this, uh, you just click in English. Well, you can click on install, why not? Accept, next, next. All right, click end. Remove temporary internet files because you don't need it anymore. Uh, ptboats.exe okay well you need to do, you need to do two things one you go into tools to wine trick you have to wine trick and you go to the DLLs and you go to official script 2005 that's this one if you don't do that you get an error on startup or you won't get an error on startup it won't start at all so that's why you need this uh, wine trick Click yes. And that's done. Click close. Well, 
then you have to do one more thing, and that's the no CD patch. You can get it from uh, Game Copy World, and um, um, you should uh, use the 1.1 English version. And um, of course, make sure you uh, you only use it uh, for yourself, and uh, that you of course own the game before using it. Um, all right, right click it, show package content, C program files, uh, Akela games. Just uh, just if you do it on on, win on a Windows PC, it's just in the same way. Well, I already downloaded an OCD patch. There are two files, the PTD boats uh, Excel file, and don't copy the folder because otherwise you have an issue because it won't start at all. You have to go to it manually. So you go to game data, scripts, scripts, and I know it's interactive. Scripts, interactive, and then you move, uh, replace the file here. So those two, two files need to be replaced. Well, if that's done, well, that's it. You can uh, play it. So if you double click it now, See, you see, um, you can only play it in DirectX 9.0z. There's also 10, but I didn't test it, but I'm almost certain that it doesn't work because um, the DirectX 10 isn't supported very well in Wine. So um, I will keep it as, as I value on this uh, part. It's uh, graphically, it's uh, it's already amazing on uh, on 9. So, so um, resolution you can choose, you can put it to... 1280 if you want. Oh yeah, that's the same thing as uh, you see the same thing on uh, on truck simulator. All right. Well, you can then click on "Don't show the dialogue again," and uh, here you see that it's selected. You see? And click yes. Well, this is normal. This is because of the no CD patch. Well, then the game will start on full screen, high resolution. Well, not high resolution because high resolution is for uh, for uh, iMacs and stuff. But this is my MacBook. It's an amazing game, uh, by the way. Well, I played um, all three missions and uh, of the training, and I also did the mission selection on um, uh, campaign. Oh, I have to, uh, of course, I have to uh, do this one again. I think. Yeah, I have to do it again. Oh no, 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 no! Wait. Ha! Episode one. I already uh, finished the uh, mission one. Well, that's quite nice. I will do that one. Don't know how much time I have left, but um, it's an amazing game. This is the commandant of the squadron. You know your orders. You have to get through undetected. Any ship you encounter must be destroyed. We rely on you, man. All right, you rely this on me, true. man. I don't like assignments like this one. You never know from where are they going to jump at you. This is the commandant of the squadron. Schluss mit der Scheiße. You may like or dislike when you are on the shore, but now I expect you to carry out your orders. Yeah, right. This is too. I will carry out my orders. So, with the space, you can uh, launch a torpedo, and I'll do that on my own ship. <laughs> Along. Sorry.
Well, there's a search an enemy. Oh, let's see, what was it? M or something? Yes. This is the commandant of the squadron. Ooh. An enemy ship is coming towards the convoy. Zerstören! Oops. of plane coming to in this mission. Oh, there he is. trying to flee. Hardly shoot it, guy. Okay, lost my control. Where is it? Well, as you can see, it works fine. Well, enjoy the game. And um, if you love the work today, you can always donate on the website. Become a VIP member. Um, spread the word. And uh, see you back on Paul Tolka. Bye-bye.